This maybe gives me some hope. Microsoft buys some of the world's biggest games in a $7.5 billion deal. This is the company's acquisition of ZeniMax Media puts it in a strong position against Sony just weeks before the release of the next generation of gaming consoles. And I'm like, damn, is ESO, is ESO going to be impacted by that decision? Could be. Finally, someone who actually cares about remaining competitive. Because ZeniMax, I mean, they've been releasing like one bad game after the next. And of course, Microsoft trying to be competitive uh, with Sony PlayStation. They got to step their game up. They got to be willing to put out good content. Otherwise, they're going to go by the wayside. So at the very least, we now have a company whose desire is to be competitive in the space. Could be good for ESO. Might be better for maybe if they release another MMO or ESO 6. Might be a little bit better because now, of course, they've got to be top notch. A lot of the last games that have come out, Doom was okay, but a lot of a couple of their other games that they released were not so great. And of course, they've been buggy. So this might cause Microsoft to come basically with their A game, which could lead to some improvements, to some real improvements to ESO. The biggest thing that ESO needs is a complete wipe of their developers. Their developers are garbage. They really need some solid developers in there who know what they're doing, especially if Microsoft wants to take games like ESO into the competitive space of gaming, especially because it's an online MMO and actually maybe maybe usher in some competitive PvP. I've said it a million times. Some of the biggest games are typically the ones that revolve around the competitive PvP area. I mean, if you look at Twitch, I bring this shit up all the time. We look at some of the most competitive games that you'll see on 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 Twitch typically are games like, you know, League of Legends. Looking at take a look at the browse. Let's pull up the browse and what do we have, right? Fortnite same old same old right competitive among us this trashy little game pulling in 310k views views of course translate into extra dollars right you've got just chatting right titty streamers are basically uh, competing against each other who can thought each other out league of legend competitive fortnite competitive grand theft auto competitive call of duty competitive counter-strike competitive valorant uh Dota, I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, Minecraft, uh, people competing who can get to end game quicker. Um, Apex, World of Warcraft, Fall Guys, Team Fight Tactics, like literally competitive, competitive, competitive. You know, one competitive game after the next. And of course, these games that have a competitive space that garner viewers, right? they bring in that extra money, whether it's from people buying the game, if, if they have a box sale, or if they have like skins that they want to sell and typically people want to watch that competitive play if you if you're if, especially if the game's enjoyable i mean even look at the new spell break you've got old school overwatch hearthstone card games like literally what people typically look for is like sure maybe they'll like that little that rpg sure you might play that rpg for a couple of days you might be able to eke, eke out a week but then once that week has gone by it's like you know your views just basically plummet Typically, what people want to watch is they want to watch some competitive gameplay. And of course, these games allow and continue to evolve, add extra content that basically, of course, allows you to continue to stream the game and to hold on to that viewer base. You've seen drops for different games that typically have a more competitive space. I think Microsoft made a really good acquisition here. Hopefully, they'll go the route of I hope they do make some sort of a change for ESO. Could be could be a good thing. Not in the near future. I definitely wouldn't say that it's going to be in the near future, but maybe in 2021, maybe with some of the changes. I I, I saw the other day that they're bringing back the uh, the group PvP. Who knows? Who knows where where these some of these changes will come from? I'm hoping that we'll see some really good changes in ESO, kind of moving behind that prox set super casual meta. And maybe bringing in, bringing back in that competitive PvP that many people have been hoping would come back. I'll have to wait and see.